Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the comparison operators that we use in our SOQL statements. And so let's say if you wanted to go ahead and look for an account name equals to United Healthcare, then you're going to go ahead and use the equals operator. This expression is true if the value in the field name equals the value in the expression. So that is what the equals to operator looks like. These are very similar and very simple. You just, if you look at the name, you'll be able to figure out. This particular symbol that you see with the exclamation mark and the equals to, this particular tutorial is mainly focused on the people who are known programmers and have never worked. So I just wanted to make it a little bit um, easy for them. So this is a equals operator. This is if you wanted to check for the equality. This is a not equals to when you're using an exclamation mark that is not equals. If the value is not, the specified field name does not equal the specified values, this is this expression is going to result in true. Less than. If the expression is true, if the value in the field name is less than the specified values less than or equal to. So either the value has to be less than the specified value or equal to the specified value. Greater than is basically when the value in the field name is greater than the specified value. Greater than equals to is basically values should either be greater than the specified value or the field name value should either be equal to the specified value. Then you have, this is the most important one, the like operator we have done a lot of examples in the like operator so expression is true if the value in the field name matches the characters of the text string in the specified value so if it matches the characters if you remember in the previous example we learned about the escaped characters so this is where we use the like so if you wanted to go ahead and match the characters of a text string in a specified values then we're going to go ahead and use this operator the like operator in SOQL and SOSL is to like similar in the SQL. So if you remember SQL, they're both the like operator in SQL is very similar to the one like operator in the SOQL and SOSL. So they're very same. It's kind of similar. It provides a mechanism for matching partial text strings and include the support for wildcard. So you have multiple wildcards are available which you, which you can use with the like operator. So the main purpose of the like operator is basically to find out if the character sequence matches the specified value. And the like, like operator is very similar to the one that we have used in SQL statements, if you remember. And, and the like operator has also has a support for the wildcards. So let's say that if you use a percent sign and we are using these underscore, these wildcards are supported for the like operator. So these are the two wildcards that are supported. The percent sign means it matches zero or more characters. If, in the, if you remember in the example of Terry, we were using the percent sign that represents zero or more characters. The underscore wildcard matches exactly one character. So if you only if you know that okay, the only there can be only four characters, so then you can use this. So for example, here if I use something like select the ID comma name from the account object where the name like and I can say here T E R and underscore means there can be only four letters can be there so if i go ahead and execute this so this is only going to give me four letters because the underscore exactly matches one character the percent sign exactly matches zero or more characters the text string in the specified values must be enclosed in single quotes if you already seen here that you have already specified in the single quotes here the like operator is supported for string fields only the like operator performs a case insensitive match unlike the case sensitive matching in SQL. So if you remember, the SQL was doing the case sensitive matching, whereas in the case of the like operator, in the case of SOQL, where it's a case insensitive match. The like operator in SOQL and SOSL supports the escaping of the special characters. We've already seen that by using the backslash. Don't use the backslash character in a search except to escape a special character. So if you're not, do not use the backslash character in a search except to escape a special character. So let's go ahead and do a simple example here to illustrate that. So let's say we select the account ID, the first name, 
and the last name from the contact object where the so let's first see what kind of context records we have so these are all the contact information so it fetched everything so let's say we were looking for something with the name starting with the letter a okay so where the last name like so we can use a here and then percent if a and percent means it can have zero or more characters so if you go ahead and execute it will fill sorry where the first name So it's going to give you all the contacts where the first name starts with the letter A. The next one we have here is the in operator. So let's say if the value is any one of the specified values in the where clause. So for example, you are looking for uh, the students who are enrolled in English, math or science. So that is like these are the three values. For example, the values for in must be in the parenthesis and they must be surrounded by the single quotes. So let's say we have an example here. Select the name from the account object where the billing state. So let's go ahead and select the billing state first. So let's go ahead and select the billing state from the account. So let's go ahead and execute. Okay, so where the billing state is either California or New York. So let's say where the billing state in in means include both the ones so include the records where the billing state is either california or new york let's say these are the only two one okay so now what will happen is it is going to go ahead and fetch all the records to have the string we have to specify the string here so where the billing state is either california or new york so it has included all the records either the billing state is california or new york so now if you say instead of in, if you say something like not in, means it will give all the records except the one where the billing state is California or New York. So this is what the not in looks like. If the value does not equal any of the specified values in the where clause. For example, the, val the values for not in must be in parentheses and string values must be surrounded by single quotes. So this is an important point here that all the values should be in single quotes and it should be surrounded by the parenthesis. So not in will give you every record except the ones where the billing state is California or New York. So this is what the not in looks for, stands for. Includes and excludes, this is only applicable to the multi-select pick list and I'm not gonna go deep into that. So these are the comparison operators that are available um, in the Salesforce Apex programming language.